Oh yeah. Time for a demonstration. Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, taking a little bit of time off, but I was teaching and now I'm back. I'm gonna be making some more videos for you. I got myself some new equipment, so as you can see, I actually have a desktop microphone right here in front of me. I'm using that, it's gonna be going splendidly, but for now, I'm gonna focus on making shorter videos, I hope, um, and that way I can make videos more frequently and put more information out there. So uh, today I wanna talk about turmeric. I'm gonna try and talk more quickly and get through all this information as fast as possible. So turmeric, baby, oh yeah. The spice is derived from a root. A uh, whole turmeric root actually looks like ginger root. But on the inside, the root is very bright yellow. Um, it's practically orange. All turmeric spice is just the dry powder of root. Now, that color, like all plants, the color is the key. That's where all the antioxidants are. All right, all these plants with their vast array of colors, it's literally a sign of their health properties. Uh, my wife, when she did Peace Corps, she was in Bangladesh for two years. She said the word uh, turmeric is actually yellow. That's what they derived the word from. So they named the root after the color yellow. As a spice, it doesn't have very much flavor. Um, there's not a lot of applications for it. It's really just kind of bitter. Its power lies in its ability to color dishes. So uh, a curry dish, curry powder, the backbone of it is literally a whole bunch of turmeric to color the dish, but it's not really giving it much flavor. Most curry powders are a blend of different spices put together and turmeric's just that backbone coloring agent. Um, several spices are actually known to have a lot of health properties, particularly from their antioxidant capacity. Turmeric, on the other hand, though, it's like the king of antioxidants, okay? It is by far the most powerful one, and until we find anything better, you know, it reigns superior. Um, you can now find it in isolated pill form. A lot of health stores are selling it. It's actually been isolated into its unique compound called curcumin. Um, I actually recommend just taking whole turmeric. The isolated form does not actually prove to be as powerful as the whole, uh, the whole powder or indeed the actual turmeric root, which you can find in stores as well. So let's get a rundown on what exactly it does. Um, as far as anti-cancer properties, turmeric is indeed the most powerful spice as an antioxidant, and it may help boost the enzyme in our bodies involved in preventing oxidation, making it virtually twice as effective as any other antioxidant spice um, and even effective at stopping the proliferation of cancer cells that have already formed that makes it a trifecta baby trifecta of cancer fighting power even further research has been conducted as a topical application on skin cancers skin cancers where it was effective i mean you just can't find anything turmeric doesn't stand up to Turmeric has been shown to be effective in the prevention of type 2 diabetes, which was found when administered to pre-diabetics in a clinical trial. Why is this? Type 2 diabetes is a disease that actually has to do more with the fat in our bodies and uh, instead of the carbohydrates. You see, fatty acids, when they're oxidized, they have these deleterious compounds when broken down, things like ceramide. Um, these have nasty side effects, which disrupt our energy systems. Um, since turmeric can prevent the oxidation of fatty acids and prevent their deleterious side effects, it is shown to be effective in the prevention of type 2 diabetes. Studies have shown turmeric to be this powerful anti-inflammatory. Inflammation occurs in our body for various reasons. Many autoimmune diseases are thought to stem from too much inflammation, for example, arthritis, ulcerative colitis, etc. There's research that shows it may have promise in even treating Alzheimer's. Um, it's been effective in treating lupus, which is a rare but serious autoimmune disease. Lupus. It's even been found to help the lining of our arteries function better by granting, the abil granting them the ability to vasodilate. Uh, this is something I've talked about uh, before, something that's known as nitric oxide or vasodilator or natural vasodilator booster. This just means that turmeric is even better for cardio junkies that are out there and even it's beneficial for couch potatoes, you know, helps you vasodilate. Later on, I will talk about some of the potential effects of turmeric for weightlifting, but for today, that's it. All right, so we learned about turmeric. How do you dose it? I would take one teaspoon a day mixed in with just a little bit of water. You can shoot it. Also put some black pepper powder in there. Studies have shown that uh, turmeric is way more effective in the presence of black pepper, just plain old black pepper. Everybody's got that in their home. Um, I've even seen research that says turmeric is more potent when heated up in those curry dishes. So if you want, you can get a mug, coffee cup, fill it up with a little bit of water, throw it in the microwave oven for about one minute. Get it hot enough that it starts to steam, 
put your turmeric in there, black pepper powder, let it cool down for a couple minutes, and shoot it. Dose of turmeric, one teaspoon a day. Lupus, All right, thank you everybody for watching. Stay tuned.